Porsche Macan. We're uh, doing the rear brakes. I did remove the cover off my reservoir. Right there on the driver's side. 19 millimeter takes off your tires. And also this key here. Located in the trunk by your spare tire. Alright, so once we get that out the way, tires off. We want to come in here and remove unplug our wear strip sensor and it's just a push in push in clip also your parking brake and you just tuck those back there out of your way now you come to the rear right here your brake line just want to pull it up out of that gives you more play on your caliper all right now back to our wear strip to get this out you just pull back see how I pull back turn that notch there needs to come out of that groove there and you just slide it out wear strips out the way now you have two number 13s, one here, which holds on this bracket, and also one at the bottom there. All right, so the trick to this is you have to hold this nut here while you loosen your two 13s, top and bottom. So I just took a small crescent wrench. Fits just right. Now I'm gonna remove both the 13s. All right, so both 13s been removed. Ah, uh, your caliper. Can just come off. Wear pad sensor came out, but it's already damaged, so you can go ahead and pull it right up out of your caliper there. Alright, so next you're going to want to remove your parking brake actuator or else you will not be able to compress this. The dealers hook the computer up to the car and put this in service mode so it winds. But you have two. You have two T30s. One there and one there. T30 torque. I'm going to remove those now. Alright, so both T30s removed. Right there. Now your actuator. Just basically rock it back and forth until you get it out. Alright, so your actuator is all. Just place it to the side. Now in here. You're gonna to need to wind this parking brake in. Alright, so it is a T45. T45. I'm just gonna place it inside and turn it clockwise until you feel it stop. And just keep on turning clockwise and you'll feel the stop. All right, so this is my setup here. I placed the 36 millimeter socket on the rear of the caliper. And I'm using my C-clamp in the front. And that's how we're gonna compress our piston. Just like that. So let's do it now. All right, so our piston's all the way in does not need to turn and just push it straight in all right so I did place place a little o-ring grease from Brimble around it I'm just gonna reinstall my actuator 
actuator can only go on one way but the plug needs to be facing to the rear of the car now we're going to reinstall the T30s let's put those in now one on each side tighten them down all right both T30s are in and tight you can just place your cal caliper to the back now we're going to remove our old brake pads. So you can just pop them out. Take the inside one out as well. Our old pads are out. This was your inside pad, which is going to hold your wear strip. Alright, so here are your new pads. This is going to be your inside pad has the place for your, the slot for your wear sensor. This is your outside. Let's install them now. All right, your pads are in. We're in your pads in. We're gonna reinstall your caliper now. Now we're gonna reinstall your number 13s. One at the bottom. And this bracket here needs to sit just like that, that face in the rear. And we're gonna line them up and tighten them down now. Same process, just hold with a crescent wrench while you tighten the 13s in the rear. All right, 13s are in and tight, top and bottom. We're gonna install the wear sensor next. It's gonna go right into that slot there. Show you now. All right, so here's your new sensor. Basically, you're gonna insert it into your pad. Just like that, you'll feel it click. Now you route it back under here. Actually, you can close that last. We're gonna take this piece and that's this exact same way all right so the same way we took it out just push it into the bracket use my other hand all right so you just push it into the bracket pull back and turn and that locks it in can reinstall your cover over your bleeder, your grommet. And your sensor's installed. Now we're gonna plug back in our wear sensor and our parking brake. Pull them from back here. Click, same thing here, click, and back to your brake line, and push it back down in that groove there. I right, just want to get it all the way down into that groove, check all your connections, make sure they're solid, everything's tight, new wear pad, wear sensor install, and that's the Porsche. Macan rear brake pad replacement. Push your pedal before you move off. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Don't forget to cover your reservoir. See you next time.